Now, I would like to consider solution of WASI core mathematics or general mathematics 2022. This is the whole paper. So uh, it is from question one all the way to question number 13. I am going to solve everything for you. All the solution would be available on my website www.stevecons.com you see the name on the screen that you are watching you see the name of my website www.stevecons.com the complete paper the complete solution is on the website core mathematics session volume 2 session go there you see the paper and then the whole solution as well I'm compiling all of them, everything that is from 1993 up to 2022. Core mathematics to general mathematics, all the solution, Novdek, and then the in paper, everything is over there. Now let's consider that's what's in 2022. Question number one the third and eighth terms of a geometric progression, GPR4. And 1 over 256, respectively. Find a common ratio B, first term C, sum of the first and second terms. Okay, let's start from here. Now, we know that the general term, the general term of a GP is given by U of N equal to A, R, N minus 1, where A is the first term, R, the common ratio, N is the number of terms. Now we have been told that the, the third term, mm, the third and eighth terms of a geometric progression are so the third term is four. So you have been given that u of three is equal to four. The third term is four. Now how do you find the third term? You see this is a r three minus one, which will be a r two. So you have a r two equal to four, and this is equation one. Equation one. Why is it two here? Because n is to the three minus one. That's two. So the third term is four. The third term is four. That's equation one. The eighth term is what? One over 256. We've also been given the eighth term to be equal to one out of two, five, six. The eighth term becomes a r eight minus one, which is a r to the power seven. So that's a r to the power 7, 1 out of 256. Now, for a complete lesson on sequence and series, complete, AP, GP, everything, visit my website. It is also available on the pen drive for sale as well. Call the numbers that we are seeing on the screen. So this is <coughs> equation 2. So we have our equation 1 here. You have our equation two. How can you find our A and R? We have to divide. So clearly see equation two divided by equation one. Two divided by one. Now what is the two? We have A R to the power seven, A R to the power seven over. What is the equation one? A R to the power two. A R to the power two. And this is equal to one out of two, five, six divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4. Equation 2 divided by equation 1. So this one over AR2 and then this divided by that. But you know that every whole number is over 1. The division will change to multiplication. Now this A will cancel the A over here. Now indices is telling us whenever you are dividing and the basis are the same, what do you do? We subtract the exponent. So clearly we have R to the power 7, R to the power 2. This is just r to the power 7 minus 2. Why? And this is base are the same. We are dividing the subtract the exponent. And this is we have 1 out of 256 times 1 over 4. We have to reciprocate that. Now, here what do you have? r to the power 5. 7 minus 2 giving us 5. And this what do you have? Numerator times numerator. 1. 2, 5, 6 times 4. We have to use the calculator. And this is the same as 1,024. 1,024. 
Now this is r to the power 5, we have 1 over 1024. Now we know that 4 to the power 5 will give us what? That is 1024. So this one is just the same as r to the power 5 equal to 1 over 4 all to the power 5. Now, because the powers are the same, because the powers are the same, hence r is equal to 1 out of 4. So this implies our r is 1 out of 4. Or, 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 we have um, r to the power 5 equal to 1 out of 1024. Now, um, the power 5 here becomes the fifth root. So you have r to be equal to the fifth root. of 1 out of 1024. Either we write it this way or, and this is the same as 1 out of 1024 out to the power 1 out of 5, like this. And this is just the same as 1 of 4. You can punch this on a calculator. We have our r to be equal to 1 over 4. Again, again from here, you see all that we are seeing over here, if you have a to the power m over a to the power n, whenever you are dividing base are the same, what do you do? You subtract the exponent. So this is just a m minus n. Basically, this basically when m is greater than n. So here we have r to the power and r to the power 2. So you have 7 minus 2 from this principle. Now to the power 5 equal to 1 over 1000 and 24. So here we can make the powers the same. R to the power 5, 1 over 4 to the power 5. 1 over 4 to the power 5 giving us that. So because the powers are the same, R equal to 1 over 4. Or we have R to the power 5 equal to 1 over um, 1024. So the 5 becomes the fifth root. So that's what we have. You have punching this on the calculator. You have 1 out of 4. Now I want to find A so you can see that put r equal to 1 out of 4 into either equation 1 or equation 2. I prefer equation 1. Now, what is equation 1? We have a r square equal to 4. That is equation 1, a r square equal to 4. So we have a, what is r? r 1 over 4, r square equal to 4. Now, we know that if you have a over b, all to the power n, this is a n, b n, from indices, from indices, hence, this just becomes 8 times 1 square is 1, 4 square, 16, equal to 4. Now, what is the LCM? LCM is um, 16, so <coughs> we have 16 times 8 times 1 over 16, equal to 4, times 16. Now this is cancelling that. So a equal to 4 times 16. And this is the same as um, 64. So clearly our a is 64. Um, therefore, what is the first question asking us? We should find the common ratio. So common ratio. Common ratio R. What is R? R equal to 1 out of 4. Now, the second one, B, says you should find the first term. So we have a first term. First term, A. What is the first term equal to? First term is 64. First term is 64. Now, the C says that we should find. Um, the sum of the first and second terms. Now, the sum of the first and second terms. We know that our first term u of 1 is a, and this is the same as 64. Now, second term is a r, a r. Now, what is our a? Our a 64. What is our r? 1 out of 4. Now, 4 will go here, 1, 4 will go here, 16. So our second term is 16. Therefore, u of 1 plus u of 2, the sum 
of the first and second terms. Now, what is RA? RA is 64, first term 64, and then our second term is 16. So adding this, this is just equal to AT. Wow, that's it. That's the first question. What's he? Or uh, that is general mathematics or core mathematics. Question number one, 2022. 20, Isn't it easy? Very, very easy. If you follow my lessons, you go to the examination hall with full confidence. You wouldn't be afraid of any question whatsoever because I have a lot of lessons on the topics that I accept. Everything. Visit my website and you will never, never regret. Are you going to write your note deck? Visit the place. A lot of questions for you to try on your own. Likely examination questions as well for you to try before you write your exams. Now let's consider question number two. What's C 2022? General or core mathematics. In the school election for the position of SRC president, one candidate obtained 87.5% of the votes cast. The other candidates obtained a total of 275 votes. How many votes did the winner obtain? Now, let's suppose that um, X is the percentage of votes that uh, the first person had, which was 87.5. So that is 87.5. Percent. Now, we are being told that the other candidates obtained a total of 275 votes. What do you think would be their percentage? Now, the total percentage should be 100%. So, if X is 87.5%, then the other candidates, let's suppose that all the other candidates is represented by Y, so their percentage will be 100% minus 87. percent Five percent, and clearly this will be as twelve point five percent. Yes, that will be twelve point five percent. Now we are being told that the other candidate obtained a total of two hundred and seventy-five votes. It means that twelve point five percent would correspond to um, the two hundred and seventy-five votes. Hence, 12.5%. This would correspond or map to the 275 votes. Now, how many votes did the winner obtain? Now, the winner had 87.5. So, that would be 87.5%. What do you think this would map to? Now, let's suppose that it is um, mapping to, let's suppose that that is X. So 12.5% is mapping to 87. That, that is 275 uh, votes. So what do you think would be 87.5% correspond to? This 12, this 87. 87 is more comparing 12.5 and 87.5. 87.5% is more. If more, let's divide. If more, Let's divide. Hence, x would be equal to 87.5 out of, if you like, you can bring a percent, but I don't need to cancel out. This over this, 12.5 percent. This will cancel this times 275. But I know that this percentage will cancel. That Now, when you punch this on a computer, times 275. Um, 75 and clearly this is giving us that is 1925 votes now so the first one how many votes did the winner obtained so okay let's say this is a therefore the winner obtained uh, that is 1,925 
votes. That's the first one. Now let's see the second one. Now, B says that if the voter turnout was 55%, if the voter turnout was 55%, find the total number of eligible voters in the school. Now, total votes cast, total votes. That will be X plus one. We have to know that total vote cast will be X plus one. Now, what is the X? The X is 1,925. What was the Y? The Y was given to us to be, um, that is 275. So, 1,925 plus 275. Two, 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 so, when we add... Um, this two we are getting that is 2,200 votes. Now we are being told in the question we are being told in the question that if the voter turnout was 55 percent, it means that this 2,200 represent the 55 percent. So clearly, 55 percent is mapping to 2,000. 200. The question says that what? Find the total number of eligible voters. Now, the total number of eligible voters would be 100% because we are being told that those who turn out was 55% and those who turn out was 2,200. Hence, 100%, 100%. This would map to the eligible voters. I'm just using EV to denote it. 55% mm, was those who came to vote. But then the total is 100. So 100% would correspond to the eligible voters. Now we have 5,500. 100 is more. So clearly, if more, if more, less divide, if more, less divide. So clearly, the eligible voters, so we've got 100 over 55 times. 2,200. We punch this on the calculator. And clearly, when we punch this on the calculator, we are getting 4,000. 4,000. Hence, um, question says that total number of eligible voters, the total number of Eligible voters. This is equal to 4,000. Wow, that is it. Very, very easy. You think it is complicated? No, 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 no. It is not complicated. Get closer to my channel. Get closer to uh, my website. And make sure that you watch the videos over there. No pain. No gain. Mathematics is not a spectator of sports. So, as I was saying, everything that is from um, question number one all the way to question number 13 are available on my website. That is the name that you are seeing on the screen right now. www.stevecons.com Go to call Mathematics Volume 2 session. All the past questions are there.